has gotten the lion's share of big fight assignments here in Las Vegas in recent years. Did not handle the super fight last Saturday night, but is here to be in charge of Lomachenko against Walters. By the way, I want to fight the other belt holders. Barring that, can be the number one contender. He's not available number two. Number three. Between himself and Walters. Walters throwing a jab out there as well. Nicholas Walters is a linear fighter. Very forward, backwards, angles, and is the faster fighter. And is a southpaw and is better defensively for him. That was a good right hook by Lomachenko. Lomachenko has begun to pound the range. Ha! Walters has done so so but I don't know if he can just go out and create that offense on Lomachenko I think tight short punches jab quick left hands getting just there post sooner later though oh. he's gonna weave out to his left he's gonna bring a right hook from over there that's not gonna be like right there so you baited him into that shot he's right hand yet yeah Lomachenko that doesn't mind the jab he just doesn't want him to find Good left hand again by Lomachenko. Another good left hand by Lomachenko. It's just, it would be smart to try to land that straight right hand to the body side. Good stop, quick stop, left stop, hand stop, inside stop, stop. by Lomachenko. Two. And not focusing much on Lomachenko's body. That's again. That was a good shot. So in this round, Walter finally thrown Nicholas Walters. He's a step around fighter of the highest order. Yeah, the other thing about Lomachenko. I Punch combination for Lomachenko after one. Lomachenko establishes superior position. You see, Walters should punch more because his best chance is to catch Lomachenko in an exchange. He's a boxer puncher. He just went at it with a good hook, and Lomachenko countered the hook with two big punches, so that also would make him, make him slow. Good body shot by Lomachenko. It's just the quickness and decisiveness of Lomachenko. The way he says, tap, tap, lulls the opponent to sleep, <laughs> and then something hard. Can put him hooked by, more, good hook by the X-Man. Stop, 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 stop. Everything Lomachenko does is predicated on position in the ring. He so easily establishes position stop, with his stop, footwork. Stop. But if you're searching for the right boy, Gary Russell Jr. Gary Russell Jr. is a special talent. Established himself as a fighter that fight fans want to see and think very highly of on the kind of outskirts, if, you know, if 10 pound for pound. And Lomachenko as what he wants to do. Well, he's almost toy with him. He move, moves around him like that to a, a point to where he is less likely to throw punches because he doesn't see anything. Lomachenko's giving him some opportunity by the pace that he's working at, mastery over distance, him that him him I don't see a lot of opportunity. Punching until he finds an opening. With Lomachenko, that, he punches until he finds an opening. Lomachenko dropping his hands. And how many is what this man can do? An offensive fighter, but Purnell's defense is the reason that in his prime, he, no one really could talk. Landing a big left hook. Then up landing a straight right hand. Yeah, I think he does because uh, Lomachenko is taking a hand, can't get there, so I should try to land the left as he's stepping to my left side. Maybe I can run him into it. But that's what's dangerous is because down there, he runs you into stuff before you get a chance to try to run him into something. So it's a very tough task for Nicholas Walters right now. Good body shot. talk to the body. Bag, Roy. Yeah, that's him. That's how he does it. That's why they call him high tech, Max. He makes guys like that. I told you that shot was going to come soon because he's over on, on that left side, and Nicholas is not really prepared, thinking that he's too far away. And just then, he cashed in on it. Good body shot by Nicholas. Yeah, he's landed some big body shots. This he's making Walter. some really good choices. His Nicholas Walters in this. It's never going to work on Lomachenko because he's usually way too slick for that. Nope. Yeah. Lomachenko almost landed an uppercut, and now excitement with fans. Um, is the crowd reaction fighting in front of a small audience here the, this fight so far is less than exciting because it's so one-sided if this was a huge kind of pay-per-view extravaganza what Lomachenko is doing would be highlighted by the fact that he's doing it against this 60 to 54 of a silly Lomachenko was it a big puncher but a beautiful boxer yes he does have a lot of pep in him uh, but a better Purnell dominated. A lot of times it was ones and one twos. Yeah, he's just busier than Purnell. What I need is we have a. Well, and our our great 
Spanish interpreter, Jerry Olaya, has the weekend off. Good by the shot. Partially blocked by Walters. And I think the same time in Walters' corner that there's a mixed message. Oh, this shot. Lomachenko finding the target more and more. Or because he knows how it feels. And now he's pressing his attack, trying to get him out of there. Walters badly off balance good there. Hook by Gets in a good left hook. Still missing with the right hand. And he's taking his best weapon away from him. Count it right hand away. Like that right there. Oh, my God. I mean, he's toying with oh, Nicholas this Walters. This is amazing. What, what's going to be really funny is the next time Walters is in with a top fighter and scores a knockout. Right. It really is. Is this is indeed becoming toyage. I told you that three rounds ago. <laughs> yeah, you did. You were right. He's on his back foot. Keep going. They're stopping the fight. That's astonishing. Nicholas Walters and his court. Now let's go to Michael Buffer for the official particulars on the TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, the official time comes at the end of round seven as the challenger informs referee Tony Weeks he is unable to continue. The winner by TKO victory and still WBO super featherweight champion of the world, Vasil Hightail.